Hello, everybody. This is Scott Framuller and Shelly Netco with The Mental Knot. We, uh, we just had this great discussion about how to eat Oreos and uh, Reese's, and clearly we all have a different idea, but no judgment. No nope. judgment. Wait, so, why? Because our perception is our reality. Our t- yes. So today we're going to talk about perception versus reality. And when we, we came up with this, we, it, we're referencing this to, you know, you tell a story, I tell a story, and the truth's in the middle, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And even our truths. Or an experience. Yeah, and even when we tell our truths, like, yeah, that's my story, but there's also another version because there's other people there, right? Like, hey, did you remember this, or did you remember that, or did you remember this happened? And mm-hmm. a lot of times we don't. Like, we don't, you can't remember everything. Right. Um, and, you know, we also know that our brain naturally goes to our benefit, right? Like, when you're telling a story, Protect generally we're not going to, yeah. Of course. You know, um, so for perception versus reality, I, was this was this what, yours or mine? This was yours. It was and it was based on. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. This is ours. Right, right? But, but we we suggest topics. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah this was based on um, something I I something would... that happened with with a two sided story. Yeah, and th- we have a script, so we won't miss anything. Right. Um, but you had an experience where that brought that to. Mind. Yeah, you know, I think we've all had experiences with that, right? Right. And and the the point is. And I think I've made this point before. I'm sure I have either in discussion or on the show, but you know, you have somebody that talks about a relationship or you have, you have somebody that's like, Oh my God, you know, blah, 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 or he or she or whatever. And you're like, okay, what was your part? Mm-hmm. Like, what, what do you think they might say? Mm-hmm. Or, you know, like Nate tells me a story at school and I'm like, Oh, okay. Well, I wonder what the other side of the story is. Right. And he's like, Oh yeah. I wonder what it was. Or like, what did you do to participate in that? Mm-hmm. Right. Oftentimes people get super defensive when you ask that. Yeah. Because you're like, what are you talking about? Well, because there's only one side of the story. Right. It's this, mine. Uh, yeah. Like I know everything. There's, there's like whatever I say happens. Right. Like, right. so right. I, I find myself sometimes, you, you know, when you get in that, that phase of defending yourself because you give a shit what other people think I've done that before. Mm-hmm. And that's when I, that's when I revert back to, you know, my old ways where I'm not as healthy and smart as I should be. And, um, and you do that, like y- you try to correct, you try to tell your version, right. So people can hear when they get, when they only hear one sure. side or whatever. Yeah. Um, I think that also that also it makes things difficult too when you're in a relationship and you go outside the relationship, right? And you talk about your problems outside the relationship. Well, they only hear one side of the story and they weren't there and they don't know this other side of the story and they don't, sometimes people don't realize the truth in the middle mm-hmm. and then it just makes everything worse. Yeah. And if it's someone you're going to advice for mm-hmm. and that person is a little tainted about the other person already because you've already told them a bunch of stories, then mm-hmm. that's problematic. You know, we, we had this, uh, we had this, this, no, I wouldn't even say conflict at work, right? But um, in the company, there was, there was a crew that was, they were having some difficulties, you know? And, and, um, so I brought everybody in and I'm like, all right, let's talk about it. And it was like, you know how I always say about the, the debriefing issue where people aren't going to sit in a room sure. and talk in front of the other people. Mm-hmm. But in that case, I think that applies and I wanted it to apply, right? I wanted it to work the way I wanted it to work, but it didn't work that way. Mm-hmm. And we sat there and, and it was mostly me talking, go figure. And then when I asked the people in the room, I'm like, Hey, like, it's not the what, it's not that we have an issue, whatever that issue may be, it's the why. Like, let's talk about the why and fix that. Right. You know? And that comes down to communication, once again, an attitude. Well, I think people have a fear of being wrong, and that just has to do with the environment that they're used to. Yeah, but and, you're not and, wrong. And how, I know, but but and how they might have been um, treated or scolded when they were wrong or yeah. whatever it is. So they be, they're, they just live from a defensive place. And, yeah. and when you get in a situation like that where they think they might lose their job or the, you know, something's on the line, yeah. then that's, that's the whole different, uh, a whole different That's a whole other game, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, the thing that I want to say that was interesting about that, though, is, is that you know, we talked about what happened in the room, and then as soon as we started talking about the why, well, now there's two totally different perspectives, and neither one of them are wrong. And the truth really wasn't in the middle. It was like, hey, here's how I feel, mm-hmm. and then here's how I feel. But they wouldn't say that together. When I got them separately, they'd be like, hey, can I talk to you separately? I'm like, of course you can. Yeah. But whatever you tell me, I'm going to share with everybody else. So spew it. Yeah. Because you can't do that, right? Like if you have an issue or you perceive something happening a certain way where it doesn't benefit you or it hurts you or it damages you somehow Mm -hmm. and you don't share that, well, then you're not communicating. You're not being authentic. Mm -hmm. So how can we fix the problem then? Mm -hmm. You Mm -hmm. can't fix the why if you don't say. Right. But then also making that culture so that people can do that, whether it's in a relationship or at work. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we talk about that you know in the and it's this isn't all about the fire service or police or military but when you get in those situations you're right there's a definitely a hierarchy and you don't want to piss somebody off sure right or even at work you know or even right. here like we're not or gonna... be called out or shamed or yeah earmarked or 
you know, just identified as, as something. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so amazing to me where, you know, we can't grow and we can't fix the why if we don't have an environment where people can tell their story or at least mm -hmm. their side of it or their perception or their, mm -hmm. you know, outlook or whatever because everybody's opinion matters. You and know? you have to wonder too if, if in that situation when you have the group and someone says, <coughs> can I talk to you privately, are they withholding part of the truth? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Because sure. why would they be afraid to tell their peers who were there right. if they're being honest? Right. But it's, it goes back to that hierarchy thing because yeah. you don't want to be punished. Yeah. Right. But then I also think it's how you present it. Sure. It's, it's oh, well, you know, he did this and, and that's why that happened. Right. And that's why I'm putting no. You know, this is a situation where I think, you know, we it's how you present it mm -hmm. in that how you, you know, develop that communication skill. And then but then it's also culture. Right. Mm -hmm. It's company culture. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, just cause you're the boss doesn't mean you're right. Like when you said about your daughter, you yeah. know, just cause your mom doesn't mean you're right. Right. All the time. And she's, they're right. Yeah, they're of, right. Course. of course. Absolutely. Yeah. And that goes back to perception versus reality. There's also, there's also where your mind has a fantasy about what's really happening. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and that sounds super unhealthy, right? No. It sounds like Disneyland. <laughs> no, but not at all. But when we talk about that, it's, you know, you're, you're in a relationship where you really want somebody to be who you think they are, mm -hmm. but they're not. Mm -hmm. And when you accept reality based on their actions and you're present, you're like, shit, sometimes, right? Right. And sometimes it's the reverse. Yes. Like you could judge somebody, you know, based on your perception of them. And then when you actually watch their actions and you understand what's going on, then, oh, you're like, oh, shit, the reality is. Right. You know, so there's that aspect too. Well, but then also there's the problem that, the, the problems that are created when, say, I'm behaving in a way that... I'm acting how I want you to perceive me. And then you're responding from that twisted reality I'm putting out. It's mm -hmm. not really me. So it's a different person. And then say, you know, say a couple weeks later or whatever. And all of a sudden you have this realization like, wait, that's not who she is. What's going on? Right. But you thought that you were responding to the real me. Right. For that, a couple that's of a weeks. That's a form of isolation too. Yeah. 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 And that, and that's, you know, that, that, um, Man, I just I just think of so many stories or so many conflicts where, not conflicts, but do you know you're, people talk about their relationships all the time, or they talk about a situation at work, or they talk about whatever it may be, mm -hmm. and it's totally one sided. And I think it, when we start to realize that there's that they're telling their version, and that you listen with that that understanding, right? Then your responses are different. They're not as harsh, mm -hmm. and you're not going to be like, oh, that mother, f he really effed you over, or she really effed right. you over. Right. Oh my God. You, if, you, if you understand that there is two completely different versions of the story and the truth in the middle, right? There's mm -hmm. three stories. Mm -hmm. um, then, then you listen with a different intent, don't you? Right. Yeah, and I think one of the things that I've been paying attention to is when, when I meet someone who is a person who just kind of does a verbal barf mm -hmm. about all these horrible things and all these people that do things to them and, you know, just like that victim mindset, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, it's easy to see that that person is running around doing that everywhere. You right. know, that's just who they are. Authentically, they're someone who takes no responsibility, who, you know, their perception is that everything is everyone's fault, mm -hmm. that kind of a thing, right? So it's just fascinating to see that there are so many people like that, which is surprising. Yeah. But, um, you know, who, who, like you said, will sit down and just complain about their ex and, you know, just yeah. go on with, with, without thought. And You know, I think there's a, there's a big... There's a big issue with that, not only in complaining about your ex and being a victim and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff, but, you know, we said earlier today that we're changing the tempo of the show. Yep. And, and we did. We changed a lot of things, right? Sure. But, but we, we changed the name. We changed where we're filming it. We changed. I mean, I think Re we've changed a lot. We've grown a ton. Yeah. I mean, we both have totally different perspectives on life than when we first started this show, right? right? We've learned so much stuff. Um, and partly because of who we've met mainly because mm -hmm. of the show. Mm -hmm. um, and then all the discussions we have, you know, they're all they're all very I'm not going to say they're all very good, but they're very, I mean, they're thoughtful for mm -hmm, sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then some of the opinions change, some of the facts change too, as we learn more, right? right? The The point I'm trying to make though, is that, you know, that, that perception, reality, you know, listening with intent, that's all, I mean, it's all different now, isn't it? Don't mm -hmm. you think mm -hmm. now that, now that we sit here and we think about all this stuff, we meet all these people and we go to rehab facilities and we go to fundraisers and we meet you know, all these great people like Rock and Robin and Dave and all, you know, yeah, yeah. it's cool. Like it's like, it changes your perspective mm -hmm. on really everything. Mm -hmm. And then you realize too, that the reality of like, even our community is completely different than what we perceived it to be. Sure. Or we talked about, 
I was talking to Robin earlier. She had some guests in here and uh, doing another show, which is really good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, back to that gal that was here, you know, telling her story about how she was trafficked and stuff. And I was like, holy shit. Yes. My perception was not reality. Right. right. I didn't ever think that right. that was, that's not even judgment. That's just like, holy crap. Mm -hmm. That's reality. Like that actually. And then you're, it opens up with all these other things. You're like, oh my God, like all this other stuff's going on too. And we're just like going along with doo -doo -doo, hanging out, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think when, when I hear things like that, I think of, um, you know, like investigators and, and things like that. Cause, uh, McMahon was saying that, you know, he, he interviewed somebody that was like an investigator or a police officer or something. And they, right. they like held all that in and all those stories were like really bothered him. Sure. And, and I was thinking like, if you had to see the worst, like that stuff all the time, like your perception of the world would be completely different, completely right? Different. Because then you're like actually seeing a lot of reality that mm -hmm. most people don't get to see, mm -hmm. right? Like the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. And, and that sucks. Like that's tough. That right. leaves that leaves scars in a huge way. Right, and to be able to go through things like that with grace is remarkable. Yeah. Right. And you know, even I was watching um, that show earlier, and uh, and I was so impressed be because like the host wasn't upset. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I always mm -hmm. get, I get upset sometimes. Like I, like sometimes oh. it, it, the story is so impactful it makes me cry. But I was standing in the in the sound room. What's that thing called in there? Sound room? What is that called? Yeah, that's the video room. Video room. Video room. I don't know anything. Sound video. So I'm standing in that thing behind the glass and I'm listening. She's the sound room. Yeah. I'm, so I'm listening, <laughs> behind, I'm listening, you know, and I'm like, holy crap. And I was almost like, whoa, this is heavy. Yeah. That was heavy. Just yeah. for me to listen to her and watch her sit in that chair and talk. Yeah. And I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. So again, perception and reality are two. It's, well, it's amazing. The other thing too is, is um, as I was, you know, just watching you for a minute and then thinking about it and realizing the, the the value in you've got a perception based on what you're seeing but then to pause and gain perspective on the perception is completely different mm -hmm. and i think that's where wisdom is and that's where a healthy mindset is because you don't just react to a perception instantly which people can do mm -hmm. because they can have an emotional reaction you know they can have you know thoughts and feelings about it and react emotionally to what the perception is of what happened just now but sitting back and gaining a perspective, and I'm not talking like sit back for you know days or whatever, but just like pause and give yourself a little time, and you know what you, get get a perspective on it, you know wrap your head around mm -hmm. it before you respond and before you um, you know share thoughts or whatever, and that can make a big difference in relationships. I think business relationships, you know the situation you're talking about at work, that kind of thing. I think it makes a big difference. You know, there's there's always that communication too where we we always reference mental health, but, but there's, there's a, um, I don't know why I thought of this, but there's a, there's something called, um, you know, like chain of command and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff and span of control. And usually span of control is like one person can only manage seven people at a time, right? Like that's where there's an orange chart and stuff. Right. Just like daycare. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, that perception versus reality, right? Like I remember, you know, as a, as a firefighter on the fire ground, you know, it's when you take command of a situation, you have all these resources and you have somebody, you know, doing vent. We used to call it van or search and rescue or whatever. And I don't know mm -hmm. what the terms are now because I haven't done it in forever. Mm -hmm. um, but but you would you would always get a report from somebody. Like you would always like, hey, give me because I have a perception of what's going on. It looks like, you know, the place is burning down to the ground, right. or there's a whole bunch of people that are going to be level ones. We're going to have to fly them out of here. But but the reality you get from information from the people from communication, sure, right. So that changes everything, and that communication is key because it changes your perception, mm -hmm. right? Like ask the question, like you perceive something to be one way, sure. but if you ask the question, you educate yourself, then the reality is completely different. Absolutely. Right. And I think that's where we go back to that same conversation we have, you know, it's not always about a relationship. It's also about like a work environment too, mm -hmm. where somebody's like, I don't know, use any example, right? Like, oh, these two aren't getting along. Well, that's your perception. Like people would think me and you hate each other sometimes because we're talking shit. Right. But we, we actually are having a great time, right? right? Sure. Or like Robin gives me shit because I messed up the AC thing, yeah. right? Because I didn't get training on that. <laughs> yeah. But but it's funny, right? Like the perception would be like, oh my god, those guys don't get along, but we're totally joking around and having fun. And I just met you. I just met you. You know. And you just need a bigger wrench. I need, yeah. Well, I need I, yeah. <laughs> or a few much. extra. Or, 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 or like more muscles. Or, yeah. Or two. No, just a couple inches left on you to get up there on that right, ladder. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just need to go I up could've. one more step. Yeah. With, if, with your broken well, leg. If I wear heels, then I'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. But that's the thing, you know. That's like the. That goes back to that whole deal that, you know, you ask the question. Yes. You know, like, hey, are you guys okay? Like, are you mm -hmm. guys getting along? Oh, yeah, we're just joking around. Oh, okay, cool. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? That totally changes the deal, right? Well, changes but the then it goes back to everyone doing their part. And 
wh whoever is or isn't okay that's answering needs to be authentic. Yeah. Like own your shit. Yeah. Right? Or like, or, you know, if you're being, yeah, absolutely. You know, and that, yeah, that's interesting. You just said that too, because you can have a perception that somebody you're talking to is okay, but the reality is they're not. And they, they're just and not they telling you. And they say okay, which you talked about in the fire department. Yeah. Right? We're, yeah. We're after an incident and I don't know who you said, the captain or somebody called you and, and asked if you're okay and you're crying and you say, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. That was a lie. It was a lie. You weren't but, authentic. But, but that's, those, that's the other thing too. Sometimes when we talk, right, one of us gets upset. I get teary-eyed. I cry. I'm, dude, I don't, I don't, I'm not shy. Whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but, but the perception is, is like, oh, we're having a conversation. We're talking about something and like something triggers you and you have a memory. Yeah. And like Robin was saying earlier that, you know, you may remember something and cry about it all the time. You're okay with it. It's in the past. Yeah. But it still brings up that emotion because it hurts. Like you remember that, like that, wow, that was a really horrible thing that happened and that really hurt and that right. really sucked. And, right. you know, you, you have that like empathy right. for whatever. Yeah. But that's the reality is, is yeah. like you have to be aware. Right. Yeah. And, and we talked about dating earlier too. Because when you're online, you have a perception, but when you meet somebody, it's reality. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is so clear. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, that's, that's a, a great, perfect example. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Absolutely. But it's also, that's the reality. And you're sitting there with like, wow, this is my new perception. So it's like, talk about shifting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because then you've got a whole new perception. Yeah. And I think, I think you gain that, um, you gain reality based on information, communication. Yeah. You know? I agree. So, so. Define perception. Like, we should look it up right now. Like, define perception. What does that even mean? Perception? Like, total BS? I don't know. No, it's, a, it's, it's, it's gaining, it's, it's um, your awareness of a situation or person or whatever that you're drawing from your history, your values, your experience, because that's all you, that's the only thing you can draw from. So your perception is what, what that person is, what the situation is, whatever happened, based on who you your are. Your experiences. Your experiences. Your, okay, yeah. that's fair. Yeah, your set of values. So normally, it normally it's bullshit huh? is really what we're saying. It's not bullshit. No, not always. But I mean, I'm just saying like you, you can't, that's like a step in the direction of what the reality is or, or what the truth is or what the, the actual event is. Well, but is that's why the, the saying my perception is my reality, what that really means is my reality can't be your perception. Right. Right. But your reality also might not be correct either. Well, my perception is my reality right now, and that's why I'm saying gaining perspective on it is so important. And that's where mm -hmm. I think that's the missing piece for people because they just say, my perception is my reality. That's it. We're done. That's it. I don't want to talk anymore. And that's I, it. So perspective is, I think, in my mind, I, I see differently, okay. right? Like a perspective would be, you know, we go back to... Um, Like, say we, we talk about dating, right? We have two different views or whatever. That's my perspective or, like, that's my opinion maybe um, or... It's perception. Yeah, or we go back to that fire ground thing. Like, sometimes, like, your perspective is the way you're looking at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, hey, if you look at it from my point of view over here or, you know, you go back to that, like, emergency situation thing, uh -huh. um, you know, you might see, like, smoke pouring out of the building on this side and then on the back side, mm -hmm. it's clear. Mm -hmm. Or the reverse. Yeah, that's that's right? different. It's, right. But like, hey, from my point of view, I see this. But from your point of view, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's perspective. Sure, yeah, sure. perspective. And I, yeah, and that's that's interesting too, right? Because then you can understand where people are coming from. Mm -hmm. That's just like gaining a little more insight beyond what that immediate perception is. I think. Right, right. Changing yeah. your outlook or changing your yeah. like view, or, or having a, a more open mind about what the perception reality is. Yeah. Because yeah. in that moment, my perception is my reality. Mm -hmm. Then it's up to me what I do with it. Correct. Absolutely. Right. Interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. We could go on. I think we could go on and on. Yeah. Because like perspective is huge. That's, that's a whole other discussion. Absolutely. Right. And, and the, the, like when you're in a relationship or whatever, like your perspective, it changes all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Or, you know, we talk about the, the purpose of the show, right, is to help the kids. Essentially, I mean, at the end of the day, that's really what we're trying to do. We're trying to break cycles and, hey, if we're healthier, our kids are going to be healthier, people around us will be healthier. Sure. And, and we're not trying to save the world. We're trying to be as healthy as we can be. Mm -hmm. So then, right. Like yeah. that's like the we old can't change the world. You can't we change can only the world. change ourselves. Give you information, but the choice yeah. is up to you. But that perspective from like a child's point of view, right? And we said earlier, like, hey, if you really want to know how you're doing, ask your kid. Mm -hmm. Like, who am I? Ask your kid. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, am I angry or am I happy? Am I, you know, like, what do you see? Ask your kid, because mm -hmm. their 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 perspective is completely different than yours is. Right. Completely different. Right. Right. They sit in the back of the car and watch you 
do whatever you do. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like how you talk and how you look. My mom's you... freaking out every morning. She's in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, hey, man, every morning you're pretty freaked out. Yeah. Mom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's interesting stuff. You kind of laugh sometimes or like your kids like, hey, just because your mom doesn't mean you're always right. You yeah. Know? So, yeah. A funny, a real quick story on that. Um, Ava, my, my granddaughter, she's cookie bacon, Ava, she, cookie bacon, Ava. She's four and a half. And she was playing pretend with Bo, my two year old grandson, her brother. And um, she acted like she was on the phone. And they were like in their little car thing. And my daughter hears her from the other room. And she's like, husband, where have you been? You said you were going to be home 10 minutes ago. It's been hours. <laughs> and so my daughter, she was texting that to me. And we were going back and forth. And yeah. we were just laughing. And we're like, wow, that's her perception mm -hmm. of what she, yeah. what's going on. Like mom's going to keep dad yeah, in line. Dad was like, supposed to be home from yeah. the gym. Right. So mom could right. go. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, it's funny. Like even, so that starts early, you know, and, and talk about breaking cycles and generational Mm -hmm. um, systemic things. It's like everything you're doing, kids are sponges, they're watching mm -hmm. and, um, they're definitely gaining perspective mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, I think that's a pretty good, uh, I like it. Pretty good mark on that one. Uh -huh. So thanks Shelly. Yeah. Everybody. Thanks for watching the knot. Scott Framel or Shelly Netco. Have a great day.